Hello DC fans, this is JAR369 and welcome back for another figure review. And for 31 horror toys in 31 days, today I'll be taking a look at a non-horror figure, but more scary looking. Well, it make like I well what I meant was it makes sense for 31 horror toys in 31 days of October. I'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Page Punchers Superman. Ghost of Krypton, Ghost of Sod, made by McFarlane Toys. Take a look at the packaging, just the usual clamshell packaging with the window exposing the figure and the accessories. And it does say DC Direct, Ghost of Sod. Nothing much on the bottom. On the back, nothing much. So that's about it. Let's take out Ghost of Sod out of the package. Here is the Ghost of Sod out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Uh, take a look at the head sculpt. I would say the head sculpt looks pretty good. Very creepy looking. You can see he has the missing nose there. Well, probably he's been rotting away. I mean, he's not a zombie. He's just a ghost or something like that. It looks pretty good. You can see like the teeth sticking out right there. Like some of them are missing. You get the beard and the hair all messed up. Uh, take a look at his whole body here. You can see his whole body is... Basically, translucent coloring. There's nothing much I can say about it, except for the armor here. I'm I'm curious to know that bits of pieces are pretty much exactly the same as the other General Sod figure that McFarlane made a long time. Well, not too long, probably 2022 20, or 2020. I don't 2021. I don't quite remember. You see the shoulder pads right there, and everything. Get the hands for gripping on the accessories that he does not come with. You get the belt buckle right there which has the C on it for sod. You get the this little rubbery cloth here. Same thing on the wristbands there. And uh, take a look at the legs. Nothing much. Some sculpted details to it. And take a look at the lower legs there. You see the armory and some spikes there. And the feet and everything. And on the bottom, there is some pegos on the bottom of his feet and some legalese there as well. Overall, for the figure itself, I'd say they did really a not too bad of a job with this figure. I'd say McFarlane, he did a really a great job with this figure. Moving on to articulation, there's like a little bolt, there's like a ball joint at the head here. Arms do go fully rotate, does go in and out, ball joint there. Uh, upper arm rotation. Double jointed at the elbows here. There's a wrist rotation, hinge side side and upper wrist rotation there as well. Ball joint at the chest there. Same thing at the waist. Legs kick forward and back in and out. Upper leg rotation. Double jointed at the knees. Boot ankle rotation. And pivot forward back. Ankle pivot side to side. And of course toe articulation. Just as simple DC multiverse articulation but you can still give him some decent amount of pose abilities accessories he does come with a pair of interchangeable hands you get one fisted hand and one grabbing hands which probably makes sense on him because well he's a ghost probably haunting Superman or something I don't know I don't read the comic book and just like any other McFarlane DC multiverse figures he does come with this play stand and a trading card of the cover of the figure. You can see the um, the cover right there of the comic book. And on the back, here's the bio. Real name, Drew Sod. I think that's how you pronounce his first name. And here's the bio. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to read it. So yeah. And also, since it's a DC, this is a DC page puncher, he does come with the comic book of a volume two out of four. So yeah, the artwork looks pretty good. The cover looks good. And yeah, it, the artwork looks pretty neat. And I guess this is General Sod, right? Yeah, I guess. But overall, for, for this feature that was not advertised from McFarlane, this figure glows in the dark. So let's turn off the lights here and bring out the black light. 
Man, look at that. He glows in the dark perfectly. Let's do this again. But like right there on the chest, head, and everything. I mean, he, the head glows perfectly. But man, oh man. This is really awesome. Very spooky, by the way. Yeah, kind of like, um, oh, Scareglow from Masters of the Universe. But except McFarlane didn't advertise that this figure glows in the dark. Well, I'm pretty sure Mattel advertised Scareglow that he glows in the dark. Well, for the Masterverse, I'm pretty sure a little bit the same, but just his head. So yeah, overall for the figure itself, I'd say uh, McFarlane, he did a really a great job with this figure. And I say... This figure looks pretty good. I really like the the glow in the dark pieces that that he uses, or the team at McFarlane Toys uses. The articulation is just a standard, well, DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys articulation. We can still give him some decent amount of possibilities. Accessories, nothing much, just the uh, interchangeable hands and comic book. So that's that's all that there is. But at the end of the day, I say this figure it looks pretty good for your if you're like a DC fan or do you want something for your Halloween decoration? Yeah, go ahead, pick this guy up. He retails for twenty five bucks. I mean, it makes sense with the comic book and the twenty dollar figure. So yeah, I would still definitely do recommend it. For my rate, I'm gonna give the Ghost of Saw figure a a nine out of ten. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the McFarlane Toys DC, DC Direct Page Punchers. Superman Ghost of Krypton, the Ghost of Sod figure made by McFarlane Toys. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review on my next horror toy review for 31 horror toys in 31 days.